Hi, I'm Dennis with The Garage Engineer, and previously on our Evan Rude Motor Build, we stick a pokey stick to crack the shell, we dunk the carcass in a vat full of cleaning substance, but alas, we only got the motor to, to run for a few seconds. After inspecting the carb and running it, we found that there was a leak from the import side of the carb. This was caused by flooding through the nozzle. So we took a the carb apart again. We installed the right gasket, but ultimately the, the cause of the flood was the float was not shutting off the gas and it was flooding up through the nozzle. So we adjusted the, the float downward so that it would cut off sooner. So before we test the carb, let's add an external fuel filter to the line. All right, here we're going to be adding a fuel filter to our uh, motor because the filter inside the tank was all corroded, so I drilled that out. Uh, this is a Ste Stein's uh, 120436. So I got some new fuel line. It's a little bit thicker diameter, but we'll make it work. So I'm going to need some uh, turning radius since it's a tight space, um, and I don't need the uh, eighth inch uh, the tip of this, so we're going to cut that off. So we have a little bit more room. There you go. I'm just going to widen the hole just a little bit. Alright, and then that way we can slip the fuel filter, I mean the line over the fuel filter like that. And we'll do the same thing for the other end too. So the arrow is going this direction so our fuel will be coming from the tank here and going out to the motor that direction Some of you might notice I put the filter on backwards, so let me take it all apart and redo it. As you can see now, we have the filter going the right way. You can tell which direction it needs to go is there's a little arrow, if you can see. There's a little arrow right there that points the direction of the fuel line. So since we're going from the tank to the motor that way, that's the direction it needs to go. Okay, let's test to see if she leaks. Got fuel filling up. All right, let's give her a test. See how she does. Got the fuel tank vented. Choke on. Fuel is on. There we go. All right, we're set to start. She's smoking a little bit. Have to work on the idle part. We got fuel. So we just gotta work on why is this smoking? Water coming out of the exhaust ports. I don't think she's not leaking anymore.
So I'm glad we got the carb to stop leaking. Uh, I think the smoke's coming from, I was using two cycle, just regular lawnmower oil uh, to mix in with the gas. I think I need to get some uh, non-detergent SAE 30 oil to do the mix and that might help a little bit. Um, and plus since this is a water cooled uh, motor, the SAE 30 uh, is more specifically made for that whereas the two cycle oil uh, additive is more for air cooled uh, motors so that, that might help on that part. So the next step is we got to wait for the warm weather. Um, I was about to do it this week uh, to take the boat out, but uh, we got a, a strong cold front and I really don't want to get on the water. So I'm hoping it'll warm up next week. It's still fall, so we should have a few good days. Uh, also, I just need one good day to get out there on the boat. And we'll give it a test ride because I know uh, a lot of people in the comments have been mentioning about wanting to see it go. And uh, I definitely want to get it out there now that we got the motor working. So while you wait, if you want to see uh, the boat build, which is made out of two sheets of plywood and some other things, but m m I wanted to just keep it down to at least just two sheets mainly, uh, and uh, you can check that video out. And if you want to check other videos on the repair of this Evan Rude motor, we've done a few other videos of that. So I hope you watch that, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.